I just gave Nagra a bath. This is the last time I'm ever having a bather. This is the last time you guys will ever see her on my channel again. It's over with, y'all. My girl's leaving me, y'all. She's headed back up north. Um, this is my shipper is picking her up either late tonight or tomorrow. Also picking up one of her sons. Um, so yeah, man, it's the last little video y'all gonna get, man, of, uh, of my girl, man. It's been, um, I learned a lot from her, y'all. I learned so much from her. She taught me so, so much, bro. I, I can't, I can't thank her enough. She definitely taking up my yard to a new level, um, to another level. Um, so I co-own her. I won't breed her again. She will not be bred again. Um, I'm sure my friend Nicole out there in Washington, they just wanted a pet. And uh, we went half on her. They just wanted a pet. I wanted breeding, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, cool. She's super expensive. Um, you can get her for the breeding. And then after that, she's just going to be a pet with us. And I was like, that's cool. It'll work out. So that's why they had her for so long. And I was just going to get her when she's ready on her second heat. So she hit her second heat. We missed the second heat. Um, so I decided to do it on her third, did it on third. So those puppies that I have available, it, they're just, it won't be repeated. They're just a one time thing. This girl is very, 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 very expensive. Super, she's so expensive that I needed help paying for it. Um, and she's, she's, a, she's just amazing, man. She's one of, she's one of one. I've never had a dog like her before. Um, if I ever come across a dog like her, um, again, I will know what to do with her. I will know what type of precautions to put in place for her to make her perform at her best. She's a great dog. She's very athletic. She's good with kids. She's good with families. She loves and love, love, love to play. Um, she's what a lot of people is missing in their yard. So the dogs that I have, if you have a dog that don't like to play, that don't play fetch, that doesn't like to do bite work. Not necessarily bite work on just trying to, you know, bite or sleep, but just playing tug of war with you. Um, athletic, mobile, great, gentle, super gentle with kids, super gentle with people. She just don't, she just don't fuck with dogs. Her, her kids won't be like that because they will grow up around other dogs. She didn't grow up around other dogs. Um, she stopped being around dogs at eight weeks. At eight weeks, Two months she never was around another dog until i got her so it was just it was too much it was too much for her she wasn't fucking with it uh so yeah man a lot of people was missing this in their yard they missing the athletic system they missing that drive a lot of dogs don't got a lot of drive zeus um he, he loves to play he loves to run but he don't play tug of war he, he's just not into that roxy refused to bite a rope refused to bite a rope or anything like that she refused to play like that She'll go for a walk and shit like that. She's cool with that and she'll run. But as far as just playing with me, she don't really do all that play play shit. So having her was was so much fun, bro. So much fun. I actually got to work out a lot. She worked me out a lot. She gave me a lot of exercise. She taught me an uh, awful lot. Um, just This is just a beautiful experience having her, bro. Beautiful experience having her. I can't thank, I can't thank her enough, man. And look at the structure, bro. The structure is perfect. She's literally perfect. Only thing she was missing for me personally was bone. She was a little thin. I didn't like how thin she was, but that, that goes to show. If you have a dog that's super boned up, they won't be athletic. So the fact that she was athletic, I said, okay, I can always add bone to the blood. I can always add bone to the blood, but I need that drive. I need that drive in my program. So um, I'm very, very thankful, bro. Just look at her, bro. She's just, she's, she's one-on-one, bro. And she's huge. She's larger than Navy. She don't have more muscle than Navy. A lot of y'all get that get me confused when I say she's larger than Navy. Y'all think, but no, she's not. No, she... When I'm talking about larger, length wise, length wise, height wise, she's larger than Navy. She just don't have the bones and the muscle that Navy has. Navy is different, okay? But as far as everything else, bro, she's so alert. She's so nice, bro. Just the, the sweetest dog, bro. The sweetest dog. All she want to do is be in your lap. All she want to do is lay on the couch. All she want to do is play. Whatever you want, whatever you need, that's what she wants. She wants to be there for you. 
So um, when I used to have her in the kennel and shit, she just wasn't fucking with it. She, that wasn't her place. She came from a place where, how you doing? She came from a place where she was able to lay on the couch. She was able to roam around the house. She had, she had a lot of freedom. So to be put around a pack and be um, isolated as far as kennels and shit, it traumatized her. And I know what I was dealing with a traumatized dog is when I was outside in the kennels, outside playing in the yard, and I wasn't letting her out until I get everybody else in. She was out by herself. I said, like, okay, she loved to be out. She loved to be free. As long as she's free, she's not fighting. She's not fighting. She never fought. She was, a lot of y'all don't understand. When I first brought her, if you go back to watch the videos, she was with the pet. She was with the pet. But she wasn't comfortable. And I saw she wasn't comfortable. So that's when I started putting her away from the pet. Because I started seeing a lot of shit that was going to happen. That was just waiting to happen. And then one day, she, you know, she really showed who she was. And she just, she ain't with that shit. She ain't with being around another female at all. At all. She's not with that. And, you know, that was a learning curve for me. I had to learn that she don't submit. She don't submit. She's not with submitting. Even Navy can't submit her. Navy fucking, I'm talking about biting her. I'm talking about grabbing her, throwing her to the ground, all type of shit, you know, because she bit Gunner, so he was fucking up. And one time she bit uh, Chloe, and he fucked up. And while he was fucking her up, I'm talking about destroying her, killing her. She still was like, she was screaming and crying and, you know what I'm saying, trying to get away from him and shit like that instead of just submitting. She never would just submit. So that was a problem in my camp. So that's one of the reasons why I'm very excited that she's leaving. Um, super excited. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need her temperament in my program. But I do have her athleticism, her blood in my program, and we're going we're gonna to adjust those attitudes and adjust those problems with the puppies, with socialization, with um, leadership, with having alphas around. Navy is an alpha. Roxy is an alpha. But they not alphas where they won't submit. Even Navy know how to submit to me. You know what I'm saying? Even Navy will submit. Even Roxy will submit. Everybody in my yard knows submission. She just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Even with me, I can get her to I can get her to halfway submit, but she'll just run away. That's not really submitting. That's that's um deflecting. You know what I'm saying? So she just uh it's a lot of a lot of a lot of problems that she that she has that wasn't that, w that wasn't adjusted, that wasn't um fixed early on. And I try, I used to communicate with my friend Nicole uh, and she used to show me videos and tell me about certain things she was doing. And I was like, right now is the perfect time to fix it. You have to fix it before she get big. Because I told her, like I'm telling y'all with these puppies, I know they look small because Naya look real small. These puppies get big. These dogs get huge. Fix the problems while they small, okay? Fix the problem. You see any type of um, attention deficit or attitude? Deal with, fix it while they young. It's very important that you fix it why they small because it's easy to fix it when the, the bites are small but it's hard to fix it when the dog is biting and not letting go but look man she's just a great dog bro she loves to be around people she just don't fuck with other female dogs and i had to learn that some dogs i don't care what you do they just don't they don't fuck with other females especially if they wasn't socialized young if they didn't learn submission um at a young age so she was one of those like why my glove compartment open in my car bro like why people Bro, somebody, somebody going, somebody went through my, all right, off, off, off the dog shit. Bro, somebody went through my, went through my Honda, took pictures of my debit and credit card, bro. I don't know when it happened. I don't even have people in my car. It's only a couple people been in my car. And it's like, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? It's weird. I don't even, you know, only a couple people been in my car, bro. And somebody tried to, somebody tried to charge my credit card for $150 for Amazon. I got a text message asking me it wasn't me. Cause you know when you doing when you deal with credit cards and try to steal credit cards, it don't just go through. You got to get like authorization and shit. But then after that, somebody used my debit card for the same type of shit. So it's like, oh shit, they see they didn't work with the credit card, so they immediately uh, tried my debit card. And I'm like, I got my debit card and my credit card in my possession. So what the fuck is going on? And I just looked in my box Chevy in my glove compartment, open like somebody came and looked. You know what I'm saying? Just peeked in there to see if they it was you know some type of card or something in there. Like, bro, it's, it's so weird, bro. And it's it's just weird, bro. Like, I swear to God, y'all, like, I'm the most chill person in the world, bro, until I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And I can't wait till I live on my ranch, bro. I do not like living this close to people, bro. It makes me very uncomfortable, bro. Like, look how close my house is to that next house. 
Like, what the fuck is that, bro? I don't like living that close to people, bro. So if somebody come on my property, bro, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I see you when I get my ranch and I see you by my car, it's a problem, bro. But in this neighborhood, everybody's so close together, bro. It's like motherfucking be on walking the sidewalk. Motherfucking come look in your car real quick and then get back on the sidewalk. And you can't really say nothing or do nothing, bro. Like, when I get my land and shit, if you, buy, if you make it to my house, you you didn't went too far. You didn't pass all the signs where it say no trespassing. You didn't pass every sign because there's gonna be a bunch of signs where it say no trespassing, and it's gonna be a dog loose. Come on, dude. What are you doing? I'm pulling me. I don't do that poor shit. And it's gonna be a bunch of signs, bro. So if you get to my crib, first off, if you make it to my house or to my car, the dog that's in my house got to go. The dog that's, that's roaming my yard has to go. He's no longer, she or he is no longer able to be on my property. You know what I'm saying? Because I will have, uh, I will be adding other dogs to my camp. Like the bullies and shit, it's good, beautiful dogs. But um, I need, uh, I'm going to get some other shit that's more, that's more onto like protect cattle and all that type of shit. Because I'm, as you guys know, I want cattle, like. I want a farm, I want a ranch, I want other shit, so I would be adding Dobermans and shit to my program. Uh, and, I, you know, Dobermans, I don't got to worry about them pissing shit in the house and shit like that. They just more, you know what I'm saying? They a lot smarter than bullies, though. So, so, I would be adding other dogs to my program. I would have more, all type of shit. It would be all type of shit in my program, bro. Real talk. My glove apartment open, bro. It's like, why my glove apartment open, bro? Like, niggas is weird. Like, you know, I already tried to steal. You know what I'm saying? You know, already hit me for, like, tried to hit me for 150 where shit didn't work. It went through on my debit card. I'm not going to lie. Somebody got 150 from me on my debit card. But, you know, I reported that shit stolen. So, I'm going to get that shit back. But it's just the fact that motherfuckers is, like, on that shit, bro. Watch out. No. Shit weird, bro. Niggas out here broke. Niggas out here real right, bro. You got to be careful, bro. Living next to, you know what I'm saying? Living next to people or uh, having neighbors and, and all that type of shit. Like, you literally got to watch yourself. Get out of my car, mama. Look at her trying to get the Chevy. You better not get in my Chevy, girl. You know, that cloth seat. It ain't, it ain't the Honda. It ain't leather. Yeah, you got to watch getting close to people, bro, because you just never know, like, who will steal from you and shit. And I got pretty decent neighbors, but like I said, we all live too close. So motherfuckers can just walk down the sidewalk, check my shit, get right back on the sidewalk, and walk away. And I can't think none of it because they on the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? Because this block ain't mine. But I swear to God, y'all, one day I'm going to have my wrench. And when you come down that street, that's Johnson Street. You know what I'm saying? That's my shit. So if you come down that street, you already went too far. Because it's going to tell you, bro. No turning around on this street. No trespassing. Nobody allowed, goddamn it. Only Johnson, like NBL Street. I might name the street NBL some shit. Like, real talk. I'm so serious, bro. Like, only my street. If you're not invited, you can't come down that street. You definitely ain't getting in that gate, and you better not get on foot because them double miss will be on your motherfucking ass. I'm gonna have about five, six dobies just running around the crib. All females. Not playing. Not joking. Real life. Yeah, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I just want to give y'all a video of Nyla, because this is, look, look at her on my box. Nyla, come on, mama. Sit. Good girl. Hey, baby. No jumping, no. I know you want to jump. Yeah. Let's give y'all a little video of Nyla, man. And, um, uh, Nyla, down. Because this is the last video you guys will see of her. And one of our puppies is leaving too. Where are you at? Where's Green? Where's Green at? Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, this is Green. These are two dogs that are leaving. That's your son, Mama.
Y'all got a long trip up north. Y'all see the cover on that boy. That boy took from his daddy, boy. That's that Zeus. That's that Zeus juice, man. I don't give a damn what color you put with Zeus, man. Them dogs coming out right, right. They coming out right, right, man. I don't give a fuck what it is. <laughs> Look at that son. He like, man, I'm gone, man. She putting your face all in my tail. She dipped off. Look. So these two leaving, y'all. Get your foot off of them, girl. Hey, yo, she don't know this. She have no idea, but that boy is going to be bigger than her. <laughs> That's what I love, this dog shit, bro. It's so beautiful. Like, y'all look at the puppies, y'all be like, damn, that dog's small. But I guarantee y'all, bro, in a year, he's going to be bigger than her, bro. He going to have more bone because of his daddy. Now he look. Rex. We all know that's your son. He know you his mama. He know his mama. We know that's your boy. Lick his ears or something. Clean the ears up. Ah, wait. How much smelling you need to do, Nyla? Hey, dude. That's crazy because they don't get uh if they don't get her fixed by the time her next heat come, he gonna be trying to hit. And he gonna be big enough to do it. <laughs> Bro, him in three to four months, gonna be crazy. He gonna be big enough. Uh at six months, he'll be six months. He'll be six months and four months. He's just nine, nine weeks right now. But uh Let's see, about four months, or he should be coming back, and he's going to be ready. They better get her fixed, because he's going to be trying to smash. And she'll let him do it, too. Next thing you know, they got some inbreeding going on out there in Washington, man. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm going to stop this video, man. I've been outside all day, man. I've been working and grinding. I need to uh, take a shower. Get some rest. I mailed off papers today. I got to mail off Nicole. I got to mail Nicole uh, those papers too. I don't send papers with shippers. If you buy a dog from me, um, the papers will not come with the shipper. I don't send papers with shippers. Never, and, and for y'all watching this video, never send papers with shippers. Don't, only thing you get a shipper is a dog. That's it. That's all you get a shipper is a dog. You don't send no papers with shippers. No, no papers. No shot records. None of that. Sh none of that shit go with shippers. Shipper don't need to know nothing about the dog. All they need to know is where to take the dog to. That's it. That's all the shipper need. All right. Do not send papers out with shippers. You mail the papers to the fo the people. You mail people their papers. Do not send papers off with shippers. I cannot stress that enough. Cause your dog come up missing. The shipper got all the rest registration papers, the health records, and all type of shit. Your dog gone. Goodbye to your dog, right there. Now, if they steal your dog without papers, they're going to be doing some backyard breeding shit. And I did what it is. But I don't... Uh, I, haven't, I haven't heard no, uh, no shit like that. I haven't heard a, a shipper keeping a dog before. But uh, definitely never send papers out with shippers. But yeah, man, I'll have with you guys later, man. Uh, if you're interested in one of my dogs, the number is 206-499-0422. I do have... Ooh, she just... Why are you... Stop being a bully. Stop being a bully. Sure, that ain't being no bully. Yeah. Bro, he gonna be bigger than her, bro. I mean, when I first got night, she was small like that, bro. I'm talking about so small.
And this bitch got bigger than 80. That's crazy, bro. She like, she looking like, dang. There you go, clean the ears or something. There you go. Good girl. Clean some ears. Now you look. Come on. Come on, Kim. Look at her. Scared as hell. Why are you acting all scared? Why are you acting so scared? Why are you acting so scared? Why are you acting so scared? Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared? Look, why are you so scared? You ain't gonna act like that. Come on. I whooped your ass before, but I don't whoop your ass like that. What are we doing? It's your last time dealing with your mama, man. See your mama, man. There you go. Check on your dog. Check on your puppies. Go on and let you see your puppies one more last time. Go on and let you lose, man. There you go. No leash. Go on say goodbye to your puppies, man. Where you going? Don't say goodbye to your puppies, man. There you go. Check on your puppies. It was in the fleet. Two of them knocked out, y'all. The one knocked out. Don't check on your puppies, man. Look at dude. Look at dude. Dude, and took it. Look at dude. Give me this, bro. All right, I gotta get him cleaned up. Uh, the number is two zero six four nine nine zero four two two. If you're interested in one of these puppies, make sure you hit me at two zero six four nine nine zero four two two. Um. The price is $3,500 on the males, $4,500 on the one female that's available. That price will not change no time soon. If it do change, it's going up. It won't go down. The number is 206-499-0422. These puppies are XL American Bullies. Big dogs. Big, big, big dogs, all right? Big dogs. The biggest shit I ever, uh, I ever put together is right now. I know y'all probably think Navy puppies are going to be bigger than her puppies. But it don't work like that. The puppies is 65% mom, all right? Roxy is smaller than Nyla. Chloe is smaller than Nyla. 65% mom. These are the biggest puppies I've ever produced. These puppies will be the biggest shit in my yard. No matter what y'all think about Navy and Roxy, these puppies will be the biggest shit in my yard. I don't care what you say. It's not how it works, y'all. It's 65% mom. These puppies will be the largest shit in my yard. 